Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel for a new video. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at 10 amazing drummers. The drummers that I'm going to talk about in this video are from a wide range of genres. The main reason that I picked the drummers that I did is that all of these musicians in one form or another have directly influenced me and my playing at the kit over the years. There are some drummers that I didn't include in this video, like Luke Holland, Matt McGuire, Cobus. And the big reason why I didn't include those guys and some others that did have an influence on me is just because I'm here making this video on YouTube. I'm a YouTube drummer. A lot of you guys watch YouTube drummers and that's the main reason why you're a fan of my channel so you all know those guys and you know their histories because it's everywhere here on the platform so a lot of the people that we're highlighting today are maybe not less known but just a little less known on YouTube per se two more quick points before we get into the video the first is that all the drummers that I've highlighted today have YouTube channels and all of their YouTube channels are listed in the description below so make sure to go give them a sub if you enjoy checking them out here in this video and last thing is this is a new format for the channel so if you guys enjoy it make sure to let me know in the comments below and maybe we can do more like this in the future. With all that being said, I really hope you enjoy. Here's 10 amazing drummers. Annika is a drummer, composer, and educator based in Germany. She has a YouTube channel which she used to build a name for herself by uploading drum videos featuring original compositions. Annika was born into a family of drummers, and her father, who's also a drummer, started teaching her himself from a very early age. She went on to get degrees in popular music and music business before deciding to pursue drumming full time. Her clinic tours have taken her throughout North America, Europe, and China. To date, Annika has released two solo LPs. In 2017, she released the record titled Piccolar, and this year, 2020, on January 10th, she released For a Colorful Soul, her newest record. Over the years, Annika has received various awards in drumming, to name a few, number one for best clinician educator on Music Radar magazine, and number one rising star in Drum magazine in 2015 and 2016. There's two aspects to Annika's drumming that really appeals to me and draws me into her performances. The first is her ability to manipulate time signatures, tempos, and time feels to create music that is really interesting with a lot of depth, but also feels good and you can nod along to at any level of listener. The second thing that Annika captures me with is the interesting setups that she comes up with for the kit. Her cymbal choices are extremely diverse and just add a lot of texture and feel to her playing because of the contrast she can create at the kit. Annika endorses Minor cymbals, Tama drums, and Evans heads. Alex Rudinger is a 28-year-old American drummer from Maryland. Currently, he works as both a touring and session drummer for several different bands and maintains a fairly regular upload schedule to his YouTube channel. Alex plays inside the genres of metalcore, deathcore, technical death metal, and prog metal. He started drumming at the age of 12 and played in different metal bands throughout his teenage years. He caught the music bug and during this time in his life, he decided that he was going to pursue a career in music. After making this decision, he started auditioning for bands through his YouTube channel, using the links and sending them out to various artists. The first real experience for Alex in playing side of a band came about when he was 18 years old and he landed a fill-in spot in the Canadian metalcore band Threat Signal. Since then, he's worked in various different capacities with dozens of other acts. Some of them include The Faceless, The Heart Machine, Monuments, Cognizance, and most notably, Whitechapel. When I first came across Alex's YouTube channel, the thing that really blew my mind and something that I've taken away from him and tried to incorporate as much as possible into my own playing is his strong ability to play with open hand in every situation. If you go back and watch some of his older videos, there's points in time where he sets up his kit almost 100% symmetrical. And in these videos, he's playing open hand almost the entire time, never crossing his hands and leading with his left hand as fluently as he does with his right on either side of the kit. Alex Rudinger endorses Tama drums and hard Hardware, Minel Cymbals, Evans Drumheads, Vic Verse Drumsticks, Trick Pedals, 1964 In Ear Monitors, Two Box Electronics, Gator Cases, and Vitrum Drum Shoes. Adam is a 22 year old drummer from Sweden. 
He has a YouTube channel where he covers bands from the death metal genre along the lines of Amir, Thy Art is Murder, and Whitechapel. Similar to me, Adam spends a lot of time learning and practicing off of YouTube and kind of using the platform to further his own progression at the kit. He stated in a line check episode to me that this has really helped him to become a better drummer. Adam started drumming when he was 10 years old and he chose the drums as his instrument in music class. Not long after this, his parents purchased him his first drum set. And at the age of 12, he started listening to metal bands for the first time. Among the bands that he really got into at this time in his life, Metallica stood out as one of his heavy early influences. As time went on, he progressively started listening to heavier and heavier bands. Bands like August Burns Red really captivated him. In 2013, he entered a music competition with his first band and he took home first place for best musician. For this accolade, he received a gift card which he would use to buy microphones to start making covers for the first time on YouTube. Adam endorses Mino cymbals, Vitram drum shoes, and Promark drumsticks. Harry is an American drummer from Alabama who is currently based in Nashville and attended Berklee College of Music. On YouTube, he's known as the Dude Drummer. Harry is a founding member of the band Boom City, who has toured with acts such as Panic at the Disco and Paramore. Two things I love about Harry. The first is his awesome personality. I really could listen to Harry talk about anything for days. He's awesome on camera. And the second is his interesting way of setting up the drum set. He uses a remote hi-hat instead of a traditional hi-hat stand. His drums are configured left-handed, but he uses the slave pedal of a double kick to play right foot lead on his bass drum. This configuration is what led to his open-handed style of drumming. Harry uses Pearl drums, vinyl cymbals, Evans drum heads, and Vicverse drumsticks. Noop is an American drummer, recording engineer, and producer from Maryland. On top of working as a session drummer for various artists throughout the metal scene, he runs a YouTube channel and releases original material. Anoop started his musical journey in middle school band. Soon after, he became obsessed with the drums, partly in thanks to his friendship with fellow Maryland native Alex Rudinger. His obsession with the drums continued on, taking him into private lessons, and eventually down the road, he got one-on-one -on -one time with Matt Halpern for Periphery for another series of private lessons. For his post-secondary, Anoop attended college as a music major and also studied audio engineering. A couple of the notable acts that Anoop has played and worked with include Intervals and Monuments. Last year, I had the privilege of sitting down and doing an interview with Anoop for my line check series. In that interview, one of the things that really stood out to me was him discussing his recording process. He writes his music using different guitars, but isolating one note at a time, sort of riff building as he goes inside of his DAW. He then flushes out the drum sections using Superior Drummer and writing out what he is kind of hearing using MIDI roll. Then later on when he sits down at the kit, he learns what he wrote and sort of manipulates it at the kit. Anoop has five solo releases dating back to 2013 where he dropped his first release titled Ghost. Then in 2014, he released Lion and Titan. In 2016, he released Bloom. And then last year in 2019, he dropped his latest release titled Illuminate. Of all the drummers that I'm discussing here today in this video, I have to say that Anoop Sastry is probably the one that I watch the most online. His movements just look so fluid and natural at the kit. Anoop Sastry endorses Mino cymbals, Tama drums, and Evans heads. David is a 28-year-old Austrian drummer. He's extremely fast and very technical. He plays for the band Cognizance, and I was introduced to David first by a YouTube video titled David Dipold Dash Hymns. He has various playthroughs from the band Cognizance featured on his YouTube channel. And the thing that struck me the most about David is just how insanely fast he can get his kick speed up to. I looked around, I couldn't find a whole lot on David. I strongly recommend you just go and check out his YouTube channel listed in the description below.
At the age of nine, Emmanuel joined a local drum corps and would continue to play in different drum corps for the next eight years. In my eyes, to this day, the discipline she took away from the years on the snare is still very apparent in her drum kit performances. For post-secondary, Emmanuel attended Drummondville College in Quebec, where she studied pop and jazz drumming. May of 2013, Emmanuel joined Andy Summers, formerly of The Police, in his new band, Circa Zero. She has performed in several major drum festivals, including the Montreal Drum Festival, Adam's Drumworld in Holland, the Frankfurt Music Masse in Germany, La Rioja in Spain, Drum Ladies Fest in Italy, Taipei International Drum Camp, and The Bag Show in France. Recently in 2018, she became the first international artist to appear as a guest drummer on the NBC Late Show with Seth Meyers. The thing that turned me on to Emmanuel though is what she does for music education. She has a really fantastic YouTube channel filled with a lot of great lessons that have really benefited me over the years. I strongly recommend you check her out along with all these other awesome some drummers in the description below. As an extension of the online lesson presence, she leads workshops in Canada and Europe. Manuel endorses Sabian cymbals, Vic Firth drumsticks, Sonar drums, Evans heads, Pro Logics percussion practice pads, and Roland electronics. Mike is an American drummer from California. He's the owner and the creator of the drum education website, MikeLessons.com, where he offers live and pre-recorded drum lessons. Mike started playing drums at the early age of five. He spent the next 15 years privately studying with drumming legends, Pete Magadini, Steve Ferrone, and Will Kennedy. At 21, Mike signed his first major record label deal with his band Simon Says, and then he went on to spend the next five years touring the world. In 2016, Mike won the Modern Drummer Reader's Poll Award for Clinician Educator of the Year. Some notable highlights from Mike's career include getting awarded a gold record for his contributions to the Varsity Blues soundtrack and appearing on MTV's Fashionably Loud as well as The Late Show with David Letterman. Recently, Mike Johnson teamed up with Meinl to create the signature groove bell. It's a new interpretation on the cowbell, and I strongly recommend if any of you guys play cowbells, give this one a shot. They changed up the alloy that it's made of, as well it comes with two magnets that allow you to sort of adjust the resonance on it so you can make it sort of shorter or faster or change it up depending on how you want it to perform at your kit. Mike is another big influence for me from the lesson standpoint of things. I learned a lot watching his videos. He has a really great website, and part of the MikeLessons.com website, there is a trans transcription generator that I actually use when I'm making the transcriptions for the lesson videos that I post to my channel here on YouTube. Definitely go check Mike out. Mike plays Gretsch drums, Mino cymbals, and Aquarian heads. Troy was born in Sydney, Australia and currently lives on the Gold Coast in Queensland. Troy picked up sticks for the first time at the age of 10 after being introduced to music in school. Troy started private drum lessons at the age of 12. When Troy was 16, he placed second in Australia's best up-and-coming drummer competition held in Melbourne, Australia. For post-secondary, Troy decided he would continue on a musical path and wound up taking a Bachelor of Music at the Queensland Conservatorium. It was at this time where Troy first dipped his toes into drumming on YouTube. After university, Troy started touring with various acts around Australia, all the while working as a private drum instructor. His work with private students eventually led him to opening his own drum school and recording studio known as the Wright Drum School. Troy has since played with acts such as Intervals, David Maxim Misik, and Nick Johnston. One thing that stands out to me and I really enjoy about Troy Wright's channel on YouTube is that he goes back through and does lessons on the songs that he's covering, breaking down the more difficult parts and including in some cases on-screen transcriptions. Watching Troy's lesson videos really helped me and inspired me in the early days of my own YouTube channel. And I can think back to several songs that I don't think I would have been able to get through learning if it wasn't for his on-screen transcriptions and great explanations. One of those examples is definitely my cover of Gravedigger. I learned that just watching his cover of it, but at the end of his cover, he breaks down the more difficult parts in that song. I strongly recommend you check that, along with all the other fantastic videos he has to offer out on his channel. Troy plays Pearl Drums, Sabian Cymbals, Remo Skins, and Vic Verse Sticks. Thomas Lang is an Austrian drummer, multi-instrumentalist, composer, and record producer. Thomas Lang first started drumming at the age of five. 
Throughout his childhood, he continued to take private lessons and was eventually classically trained at the Vienna Conservatory of Music. After his time spent at the conservatory, he began playing professionally and working his way through the European pop, rock, and jazz scenes. In 1995, Thomas Lang released a debut solo project called Mediator. Since the release of Mediator, he has gone on to release multiple solo albums and collaborations, the most recent being Prog Pop in 2019. Throughout Thomas's career, he has played a huge role in drum education. He has released several educational books and DVDs. In 2007, he launched the Thomas Lang Drumming Camp, a multi-day educational drumming experience. He has taken this camp to 35 countries and hosted more than 120 camp sessions. Thomas Lang frequently appears as a guest speaker at universities, in seminars, and at drum camps all over the world. And if all of this wasn't enough to further drum education, Thomas Lang also owns an online drum school called Thomas Lang's Drum Universe. And he is the co-owner of Nine Beats USA, a Los Angeles-based franchise of drum and music schools that originates out of China. Thomas has won over 20 drumming awards. Just a few include Best Educator Clinician from Modern Drummer Magazine, Best Studio Drummer from Rhythm Magazine, and Best drumming video slash DVD by Drum Magazine. Thomas, I think, is known for his limb independence and it's truly remarkable to watch him play when he can create melodies on his feet and then keep backbeat patterns on the hands. Thomas Lang endorses DW drums, Mino cymbals, Vicfirth drumsticks, Remo drum heads, Audix microphones, Pure Sound snare wires, Ahead armor cases, Tunerfish lug locks, and Roland V drums and electronics. Last thing I will mention about Thomas, I'm sure a lot of you already know this, but his Vicfirth drum stick, his signature series, is the only stick I will ever play. And I strongly recommend for all the guys who like a bigger stick, give this one a shot. The balance point on the stick really, really makes for an extremely comfortable stroke. I really hope you all enjoyed my highlight of these 10 amazing drummers. As I said at the beginning of this video, make sure to check out their YouTube channels in the description below. Maybe leave them a sub, check out some of their content. All of these drummers have really done a lot for me to help me further my progression just by uploading the content that they have to this platform. So I encourage you all maybe get involved and check out what they got. Their videos really can take you a long way if you put to practice what they're suggesting, especially in the channels that have lesson videos. I wanna leave a huge thank you to all of the names that are scrolling on the screen for you right now. These are all the awesome people who support me on Patreon really help to make videos like the one you just watched possible. If you enjoyed this format, as I said at the beginning, make sure to let me know in the comments below and perhaps we can do more videos like this down the line. If you want to support this channel, you can do so on Patreon or at my merch link. Both of those are in the description below. Thanks so much for checking out this video and I will see you guys all very soon with something new.